Hey everyone, welcome back. We are looking at the if formula in Excel, and in particular, if a cell contains the word mince, we want to bring back something if that's true, and if it doesn't contain the word mince, we want to bring back a blank. So to do this, we need to combine the search function. I'll show you in two easy steps how to get it all in one formula. So let's get started. Equals search. We're searching for the word mince, comma, within the cell B4, close brackets, and it comes up with the number six. What that means is it has found the word mince, and it's the sixth character along where we start to find that word mince. We'll drag the cell down, and you can see that the cells that don't contain the word mince, it brought back an error, and where it did contain the word mince, it's brought back the character. So if we combine all this into an if formula, we're going to get the if contains. Now don't forget, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel or click that like button. So let's bring it all into the if formula. Equals if is error. Now what that means is if this cell brings back an error, do something. If the cell doesn't bring back an error, do something else. So we're going to bring that search in there. Search the word mince within the cell B4, close the bracket, close the bracket again. So if this is an error, we're going to bring back two quotation marks, which is a blank, comma, and if it isn't an error, so the number six, if you remember, was there before. If it isn't an error, we'll bring back the word mince. Close the brackets and press enter. So drag that down and you can see that all the cells with an error did not bring back any value. And if the cell contained the word mince, it brought back the value mince. Hope that was handy. Hope it made sense. Please subscribe. See you next time.